final round of the Valero Texas Open from La Cantera Golf Club. Rory Sabatini lives just outside of Dallas. He had the 54-hole lead, but would open with a double bogey and quickly fade. Who was ready to move up? Tim Wilkinson of New Zealand. He almost holds it at the 10th. And the New Zealander looking for his best finish of the year at 14 to the back portion of the green and an eagle three and Wilkinson would move into a share of second. Mark Wilson, one win in his PGA Tour career at the Honda Classic a year ago. And with these wins picking up, he was not affected. Picking up birdie at the 11th and for Wilson, he would have six birdies through 12 holes. And then at 16, he would pick up another and move to 17 under. He held a share of the lead briefly along with Charlie Wee. And Wee, the South Korean, almost tossing it in from the fairway at 11. And then a downhill putt at 12. And Charlie Wee would have a bogey-free day that would add up to 17 under overall. A 9 under 61. Would it be enough to chase down Zach Johnson playing in the final group alongside Sabatini? He's not won since the AT&T Classic of a year ago. You'll remember he collected a green jacket last season as well. Birdie at six and he moves to the outright lead and now at seven. The Texas roller coaster serving as the backdrop and he drops it right in on the stick at seven and now at 10. Zach Johnson would pick up four front side birdies, another at the 10th, this one almost drifting in, and now at 18 with a one shot advantage at the home hole, and Johnson to that upper tier to within five feet. And Zach Johnson would be able to tip the cap, leading by one, make it a two shot victory for Zach Johnson at the Valero Texas Open.